Welcome to History Adventuring. This is episode number 414. I'm Brad Hall, and today we're looking at being a Ford family in the 1960s and 70s. My dad started working for the Ford Motor Company in St. Paul soon after we moved to Minneapolis in the early 1960s. He stayed there, working as the traffic manager, for 30 years until he retired. And it would be hard to imagine a harder working, more loyal person than my dad was. We were a Ford family to the core for as long as I can remember. My dad had been a GI in World War II, and his worldview really never changed much. I American, be American. And while the 1960s were still a good time for American car manufacturers, the 70s would see the end of their dominance. I learned to drive on a 1973 Ford Torino station wagon. Now that's a 72 in the ad that I found, the closest I could find to the monstrosity that I remember. It's one of those cars that had a hood that arrived 15 minutes before you did. It was a wallowing, clumsy boat. And whatever designers the Ford Motor Company had had in the 1960s, including the designer of the 1964 and a half Mustang, must have retired. The best way to describe the Torino station wagon would have been ugly and poorly made. Not that I would have said anything like that at the dinner table. There wasn't even any mentioning of Chevrolet. Certainly not the Japanese cars that were becoming more popular. Blasphemy. When I was a little kid, my dad would always get little model cars, which he would give to us to play with. My favorite was the 1968 Cougar, and I still like it. I had a lot of Matchbox cars when I was a kid, too. In the 1960s, there were a lot of cool designs, including Fords, like the Mustang. I left for college in 1977 and did it in a 1965 MG Midget, a British sports car. My next car was a Saab Sunet. And then I went to Ford, getting a Fox chassis Mustang, a wicked cool design. And after that, I stayed with American cars, including a 92 Saturn and a 2000 Mercury Cougar. I finally got my Cougar. My dad never talked much. He was a typical, strong, silent man. But I can hear him saying that everything would be better if everyone just bought a new Ford every two years. This has been History Adventuring. I'll talk to you later.